The scripture said, the preaching of the cross to them that perish is foolishness. But unto we which are saved, it is the power of God unto salvation. You know, we have to go back to the cross and receive the, uh, allow the cross of Christ to come into our lives and, and, uh, and to nurture us and, uh, and to uh, do a work within us and, uh, uh, and to uh, help us. And, and uh, of course, the 25th verse, he said, for we, are, we were as sheep going astray, but now we have returned to do our own will. No, we haven't returned to do our own will. We haven't returned to go after our own thoughts. We haven't returned to think this thing through for ourselves. You see, uh, uh, there's more, something more to it than trying to think this thing through for, uh, for ourselves. And uh, uh, there is a work that God, that he was doing on the cross that we could come and, uh, uh, and to the place to where we would have a right mind, a right spirit, a right way. Yeah, this is why Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. And he said, no man can come unto the Father except by me, you see. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, of course, we don't have Christ uh, in the flesh sitting among us that where we can go to him. And so how do you know you're coming before Christ? How do you know that you are submitting yourself to Christ? How do you know that you are uh, a vessel, you know, uh, meat for the master's use? And, uh, 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 and how do, uh, uh, what path am I trotting this out? How am I walking? The scripture says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Amen. And you say, well, uh, uh, in other words, uh, I read the word of God, I see it in the word of God, and I just walk that way. Well, if, if that was all there was to it, the, the, uh, the rich young ruler, you know, would have been all right. He said, because these things I've done for my mother's womb. He said, he said, there's things you lack. He said, go and sell all that you have. Go and sell out. And give it to the poor. And come and follow me. You see, there, there, was, a, there was an ensemble Christ were giving to the rich young ruler. That in every vessel must come to terms with in our lives that we have to come to the place of serving Christ, not by our own will, not by, by, due to uh, personal desires and wants and uh, things of, of this life, you know, but it has to be a work that takes place that Christ does in our lives. You know, and uh, we sing that song, I want God's way to be my way, amen. As I travel through this land, for there is no other highway that a child of God can go. But, there, but most of the time, we're singing, I want my way to be God's way, amen. And uh, uh, most people want their way to be God's way rather than God's way to be their way, you know. And, uh, th and uh, this is why he told us, he said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and the rest shall be added to you, you see. And because, uh, because uh, uh, we have to get ourselves out of the way, you know, and, uh, and of course that's hard to do. That's not easy to do, you know. Uh, I can tell you for, by example, <laughs> amen. And Sister Marla, I got a witness right here. So this is her sister right here. Uh, has uh, had a struggle 
from time to time in her uh, life as a leader uh, of the uh, household of faith and all, and, and trying to get me to do right, and you know, trying to get me to hear, trying to get me uh, to uh, consider, you know, and, uh, uh, but, but, you know, when I didn't, you know, she, uh, she was just like the Lord. He said, uh, if you believe not, yet he abides faith because he cannot deny himself. Amen. How, how many of us have uh, oh, uh, I give up on them. You know, there ain't no use in trying to help them. And, uh, but yet, uh, but yet, uh, but the, God's way, the Lord's way was, he said, if they don't believe, you know, that I'm going to abide faithful. You know, and, and Sister Marla, she just kept right on going. Amen. <laughs> Uh, Brother Marlo just keep it right on going, Amen, and uh, and kept working, Amen, and uh, and uh, uh, the Lord and the Lord in His time knew how just how to deal with me, Amen, and I'm glad He did. Uh, praise the name of the Lord, you know. But uh, but I, well, I, now, but now, you see, but now. And, uh, and I, will, uh, I think we all always say that. But now I have returned unto the bishop of our soul, our shepherd and bishop of our soul. Amen. Amen. And I'm, fi I'm finding a bishop and a shepherd, amen, for my soul this hour uh, that will uh, do a work within me and uh, and there is a there is a bishopric and a shepherding spirit that wants to work in our lives, amen. That uh, that uh, that we could uh, uh, be uh, made straight, and of course, uh, it's not in man to uh, direct his paths. In the book of Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, I believe, the last time I uh, taught the class here. Uh, I spoke concerning uh, the crooked not being made straight, uh, but then in Isaiah the 40th chapter it brought forth the prophecy. Amen. And thank God for the prophets of God. Amen. Amen. That bring, uh, bring forth the prophetic utterance into our lives of that which should, should, is to come into our lives. And, and you see, and say, and you say, oh yes, I believe in Jesus. I believe they believe in Jesus way back there. Amen. But do we believe that he can do the same thing today that he did back there? Amen. That he will work uh, in our lives. He can gather together his elect. Amen. He can, uh, he can uh, 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 take the bread. Amen. And, uh, and feed the 5,000. Amen. With just, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, five loaves and two fishes, Amen. Uh, uh, do we still believe that? And, uh, and of course, uh, we that uh, have been around here for a while, we understand what those five loaves is dealing with, and the two fishes we're dealing with, Amen. Uh, is dealing with uh, uh, the uh, uh, the apostle, prophet, teacher, the pastor, and evangelist, and uh, uh, and the two fishes, uh, Jesus Christ, and uh, the Father. Amen. Uh, uh, you, you see, it being those fishes, amen, and uh, uh, doing a work and uh, 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 feeding us and all and uh, uh, nurturing us, giving to us what we need uh, in our lives, amen. And, uh, uh, and of course, uh, 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 in uh, the Luke the third chapter, the fourth and sixth verse, it's, uh, crook, uh, it talks about Christ. Uh, making the crooked straight, amen, and, uh, and uh, 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 of course Isaiah the 42nd chapter also spoke concerning uh, the crooked being made straight and, uh, and he which was to come, you know. But listen, uh, uh, there's, there is a work to take place in our lives, you know, and uh, there is a labor of love to take place in our lives. You go with me now to... Uh, uh, Philippians, the second chapter. Amen. And uh, uh, 